Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim. Welcome back to Deutschland. I do hope you're doing very well and having a lovely day. So I'm just having a bit of a sort out. I need to unload the herbicide out of this thing here and get it ready for a bit of fertilising shortly in a few hours time perhaps. Because the, uh, the order of the day so far is to get the last two fields drilled. So I'll do that. Let's just park that up for now. I'm just going to pop these two remaining totes of herbicide here out the way until we need them again in the shed just nice and neat getting things organized as i say we're going to crack on with a bit of drilling we'll be jumping in the 1050 um i'm freeing up this trailer so i can put a few bags of seed on there and get it uh, sent over to the fields just to act as a bit of a backup for when when and if we do run out of seed so we're going to be drilling our big field over there on the hill under the church We'll be putting some canola in that one. And just a bit further over on the map there, beyond, beyond those trees, we're going to be drilling our little field. Uh, I think it's 52. Um, drilling that with some wheat. So, let's crack on. As I say, I need to uh, tidy this lot up. It makes life a bit easier if I jump out of camp for this one, doesn't it? Especially with my uh, telehandler handling skills. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Now, one thing I meant to bring up in the last video, not necessarily this series video but just in the last video that i made which was uh, a cali farm that came out on uh, wednesday after wednesday evening um i've had quite a lot of requests over my series um for quite a while now asking about the mods that i use and where you guys can get them um and if i can provide links and such so what's what we've actually done myself and my wonderful mod ron uh, my wonderful admin sorry ron over on my discord uh, we have compiled together a couple of google documents that have the descriptions and the links and uh, the mods from various series, my Tahitan series, this, uh, Court Farms and a Cali Farm, all on separate uh, documents, Google documents, which for which there are links, that has is, that is essentially just, it just compiles together all the mods that I use, what it's called, the modder who made it. And a link to where you can download it from so if any of you are interested in any of the mods that i use on any of my series the answers are all there for you they're the as i say jump jump over onto our onto me discord and you'll see there in the there is a, a thread if that's what you call it on there with links to all the mods that we use so like i say i forgot to mention that in the last uh, in the last video i made so uh, there we go Bought it up, done. <laughs> One tick done off my uh, to-do list. Right, so, actually, I want to go back in there, don't I? Dig out a couple of the bags of seed that we have in there. See the difficulty in driving and thinking at the same time. So, let's stretch out those tines on there a bit. Try and get the height roughly about right. Seems about... There we go. We'll just grab... Oh, look at that. Excellent stuff. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll top up the cedar with as much as we can get into there, and then I'll stick a couple of bags on the trailer and send that off to the fields. Just like I say, just to have, have a, act as a bit of a backup for us, so that we don't run out while we're over there, save us having to come back into. Right. So does that thing auto open for me? It does indeed. Look at that. Let's extend the boom a bit so I'm not crashing into it. Excellent stuff. There we go. Right, so I'll get this job done. Looks like I'm spilling it onto the floor there, doesn't it? Is that full? There we go. Excellent stuff. We'll stick this lot onto the trailer. Does it tell me how much I've got? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I'll stick this lot on the trailer. Maybe add a couple more, perhaps. I'll see you over at the fields. Right then, here we are. I've just uh, parked the telehandle there on the little lane there, just out the way. So it doesn't get in anyone's way. There's no traffic that runs up and down that lane, thankfully. So I'll just have it sat there just in case. So. Let's get some canola into this field. We'll start with this one. Canola in this one. Wheat in the other one. 
Let's get drilling. Right, that's that one done, with the canola at least anyway, so now I'm going to just see if I can quickly, sorry mate, <laughs> sort of take a quick route across the road there, we're going to top up with a bit of seed here, we've got 23% left in the hopper here at the minute, Ooh, just used up a bag there, 32, just crashed into my telehandler, whoops a daisy, so yeah, we're going to top up now, knowing that uh, the field we're going to drill now is pretty much about half the size of uh, the one we've just done. So filling this thing up will definitely have enough seed. So we'll go get this one done. In fact, what I'm going to do very quickly before I do that, we're going to send this thing back to the farm because we know we won't need this now. I should be able to just do that along here, shouldn't I? Just lift that boom up. Send it back to Mundenhof. There we go. Excellent stuff. Right. Let's go get the final drilling of the year done, shall we?
Right, just getting these couple of little patches here that course play missed. There we go, I think that's us. So let's lift that up. Fold it up. Have a quick check in the menu there. There we go, that's better. No little patches. He does have a habit of doing that, course play does, when uh, there's tight corners and tight areas of the field here. That's one of the reasons why on other series in some places on some fields I have, uh, I've, like on the Cali Farm for example, I've kind of trimmed down the corners and just made them a bit more round. Just so that course play can cope with it, but I've not done anything like that on here yet. So, job done. Right, so, oh it's not completely done is it yet, we still have to roll and fertilise. So, let's get this thing back to the farm. We'll figure out where we're going next, eh? Right, here we are, back at the farm. So, I think what I'm going to do first and foremost is open this thing up and unload all the seed. Are you going to let me do that here? Has it just got no... Is it registering that trailer is too close? Oh, there we go. Has it done it? It's done it. <laughs> give me that. So, in fact, we'll keep that open because we're going to uh, just give this a very quick wash off before we put it away for a while now. Let's unfold that thing. There we go. Drop it down. Right. Excellent. So, give this a clean off. Get it all put away. I'll sort those seeds out, get those loaded back into the shed, just to get them out of the way, out of the weather. I'll pick you up in a second or two. Right, okay, just popping these bags of seed away now. I have just consolidated a load of them back into uh, as minimal amount of bags as we, as we needed essentially because there was, there was a few bags that only had like a few hundred litres in um, you know what it's like when you pull up your, your tank up next to a few a few bags and it just kind of refills from whichever one it wants or whichever one's closest uh, so I actually had a handful of bags there with only a few hundred litres in so I kind of loaded them all into the seed hopper one by one and then unloaded them so that it unloaded with full bags if you know what I mean so that's that done. I've had a bit of a game of musical machines in here. I've put the 1050s, you can see, with the, the horse finer, with the, the cedar there right at the back, so we're not going to need that for a while. And I've brought the grape equipment out to the front, so we're not having to dig it out when we need that in the, in a short while's time, because we do need to treat and deal with the uh, vineyards. Uh, I, th I believe that I need to, I'm going to need to start doing that next month. Uh, we need to obviously uh, mulch them, uh, prune them, fertilise them. Uh, that's one thing I do actually need to buy. I think there is another piece of equipment that I need to get my hands on, um, which I haven't got yet, which is the, the, the kind of grape subsoiler thing, I think it's called. This is the mulcher, that's the pruner. Uh, but yeah, I think I need to get hold of that. So that's going to be a little bit of an expenditure. But for now, I think we're going to crack on with what we've got ahead of us, which is the fields that need to be fertilised and rolled. So... We're going to uh, load this up. We've got 2,147 litres of uh, liquid fertiliser here. So we're going to get this lot loaded up. It should be as simple as just doing that there. There we go. Now this sprayer has a capacity of 7,500 litres. Like I say, we've got 2,147 here. Now what I think I'm going to do... Let's just check that. Yeah, 2,147. So what I think I'm going to do, the order in which I'll do things, we're going to go and fertilise field 32 here. Um, we may well have enough spray in the uh, hopper here at the minute, in the liquid fertiliser in the hopper. So we'll do this field, uh, we'll see what we've got left, because we do actually, we've, obviously we've got to spray the field we've just drilled here, the, the wheat field, but we also, as you can see, we need to top up the two grass fields up here. The shop's over here, so I think we'll, uh, we'll get this field done here and then we'll make our way over here, we'll buy... A few more hoppers, a few more uh, totes, sorry, of liquid fertilizer, and then we'll go get these fields done here. That's the plan. So, we go this way to that field, it's the quickest route. So, yeah, so you're over at the field in a few minutes' time. All right, let's quickly dart across there. Got enough time, I'm sure. <laughs> so, Let's get this thing unfolded and get a spray in, eh?
Well, that's us. We have run out. We tried our best, but we made it go as far as we could. We've not got much left to go. If I just, I suppose it's easier to show you from the menu, isn't it? There we go. This is where we are. We've run out, so only a couple of strips left to go. So, it is what it is. Doesn't happen often, that, I must admit. But, either way, so... We're going to go and get ourselves to the shop now. We're going to go and stock up with... I don't know, I'm going to say maybe three totes of the stuff, give ourselves maybe 6,000 litres in the hope that that will allow me to finish off all the fields in it to need to get done. So, I'm going to go and sort all that out now. Sort, goodness me, easy for me to say, eh? <laughs> I'm going to go and sort all that out now, and I shall pick you all back up when the fertilising's done. Right, that's us all finished. All of the fields done now, topped up with the nitrogen levels that they need. So if I pop very quickly into the precision farming menu, there we go. So everywhere's a nice shade of green or orange, depending on what crop was in the ground. There we go. That's the canola. There's the wheat and the two grass fields here. Now, don't worry about these these end bits here. I know these, these end bits are still in red because that's where I did the field trimming just to uh, do my usual, as I like to do with uh, four course play, as it were to make life a little bit easier right so that liquid fertilizer that i spent i spent i bought uh, three totes six thousand liters uh, that cost me just north of ten thousand euros so money wise we're not empty yet we're not completely destitute but we're down to twenty six thousand eight hundred and three euros now We've not got a huge amount of income obviously but we do have uh, set aside in the silo we've got a load of canola that's roughly worth about thirty thousand euros that's going to be sell that's sell time for that is december and we have a whole so i think no it's november actually isn't it forgive me let me just i was trying to stop to, to not stop in traffic there but if we just go jump very quickly into the uh time saving time saving stock check yeah december twenty nine thousand seven hundred and thirty six euros worth of canola there and spelt we have 33,190. So, what's that? 63,000. Now, obviously, we're going to be keeping a bit of the canola aside for the pigs. So, we'll, uh, we, we won't necessarily get a whole 30,000 there. But in the coming months, we're going to have a little bit of uh, something to fall back on money-wise. So we do, we, I do need to be careful. I do need to be mindful of what uh, what money we've got and where we spend it, etc. And thinking about it, actually, while I was up at that end of the map, I should have called into the... Uh, petrol station shouldn't I and uh, top this thing up with a little bit of go-go juice it is running a bit shy I'll have to make a separate trip another time so we're currently left now with 3,433 litres of liquid fertiliser now what I'm going to do before I give this thing a clean off I'm going to unload this liquid fert from here and uh, pick it up and put it into the the other liquid fertiliser spray that we've got for the grapes so uh because we're going to be using that at some point very soon. So let's jump out of cab mode there very quickly. In fact, I'll uh, just stick it here if I can. So there we go. And there we go. Excellent. Right, so I'll get this lot sorted. As I say, I'll give, uh, give this bit of kit a quick wash off. And I'll pick you back up in a few moments' time. Right, there we go. Sorting out done. Hooked up the little spray. I tell you what, <laughs> considering I haven't spent a huge amount of time in these great vehicles, these things feel really weird, these dead and thin, narrow, pointy tractors. <laughs> I appreciate what they're used for and they have a function over form, as it were. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of weird sitting in them, isn't it? Just being so... It's like being in one of those little old bubble cars. <laughs> anyway, right, I've also... Uh, sorted the I uh, put the, the big wide vario grip inflatable and deflatable tires back onto this black 724 as well while I was uh, sorting stuff out but there we go so this is now ready to get up, make our way back up to the vineyards at some point next month potentially I think that's when I meant to do it I believe I was uh, told in the comments of the uh, the grape harvest video 
that uh, you wait for the next month and then you you prune and you you cultivate and you mulch and fertilize etc etc and then the, the growth comes back i think is that how it works i believe but yeah so now obviously we do still have the field rolling to do in the canola and the wheat field but we've got tomorrow it's only the first of october it's half past three in the afternoon now so i think we can afford to wait for tomorrow and we'll crack on with the field rolling there and see what else needs to be done from there but for today's episode ladies and gentlemen i think i am going to call it here so thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate your time watching the video i hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much uh, as always there are a host of links in the video description below with my giants partner promo code if any of you are in the market for purchasing a dlc an add-on a season pass or even the full game itself and you like the idea of helping a content creator out and their channel at the same time as always i would be hugely appreciative so thanks again for your time everyone take care and I'll see you in the next episode.